best product does not win today. The best known product wins. You think Starbucks sells the best coffee? Please, it's nasty. You need to think way bigger than you're thinking. Get your money right, son. Worry about the money. Need motivation? Watch a top 10 with Believe Nation. What's up, Believe Nation? It's Evan, I believe in you, and this channel is designed to be a part of your daily success routine. So let's get your motivation to a 10 and get you believing in you. Grab a snack and chew on today's lessons from a man who went from coming out of a drug rehab center at age 25 to becoming a millionaire five years later to now owning over half a billion dollars in real estate. He's Grant Cardone, and here's my take on his top 10 rules of success, volume 12. Also, if you want to know what Grant Cardone and other successful entrepreneurs have to say about building unstoppable confidence, check out my 254 Confidence series where every day for the next 254 days, I will send you a morning video for free to help you build your confidence. The link to join is in the description below. You have to go build self-confidence. Okay, let's kick it off with rule number one, get attention. When I started a Twitter account, I had no followers. When I started a Facebook account, no followers. Uh, I was my first follower. When I started an Instagram account, no followers. Um, I didn't know how to post video. I didn't know how to take a selfie. I didn't know how to do any of this, but I did have a commitment to grow in my finances. And if you wanna grow your finances, Attention is the gateway. You want to go to heaven? Who wants to go to heaven? You got to die. I'm just telling you, man, you got to die to go to the heaven. And most people don't want to die. They want to go to heaven, but they don't want to die. Most people want money, but they're not willing to get the attention. They're not willing to do what it takes to get the attention, including spending money. And I would just tell you this, if you wanna change your financial condition, the first thing you need to do is go out and market in the marketplace so that you can create a lead and not worry about whether there's ROI or not. It's so stupid that people are like, what's the ROI? Dude, what's the ROI if nobody knows you? Okay, what's the ROI if I don't know your name, don't know your company, don't know what you do, don't know your service, don't know your product, don't know where you're located? What is the ROI, okay? Best product does not win today. The best known product wins. You think Starbucks sells the best coffee? Please, it's nasty. Okay, but it's close. And I know what I'm getting when I get there. McDonald's, they don't sell the best hamburger. Close and available. Rule number two, think bigger. So that brings me to the second point. You need to think way bigger than you're thinking. I started in the apartment game uh, 25 years ago in San Diego, California. My first deal, first deal I ever bought was one unit. This little yellow house that I paid $78,000 for, by the way, all this landscaping, that's one of the things I'm known for. I'm like, I'm putting trees up there because that's going to give me some extra rent. It didn't, by the way. My next deal was 38 units. Okay, it was easier buying 38 units than it was one. The only difference was to think. I had to think different. Got to make a few more phone calls, but the play is bigger, right? The reason people, the reason so many real estate people are like marginal people, no offense. Raise your hand if you're marginal. They left on day Raise one. your hand if you're a liar. <laughs> look, look, man, look, I'm marginal to, compared to my potential. The fact that there's people in this room that don't know me, I've written seven books, 13 best-selling business programs. Uh, I have, I'm probably the top one or two, maybe three social media people in the world, seven million people on Facebook. But seven million people on Facebook is nothing compared to seven billion people in the world. So, think big, man. Rule number three, solve problems. Problems are opportunities. The bigger the problems, if you could look for the giant problems on this planet and quit complaining about them, right? And quit blaming somebody about them and say, man, what if I took responsibility for that problem? Because there is money in solving problems. You solve a problem, you'll end up with money. And the bigger the problem you solve, the bigger the problem you solve, the more money you end up with. Rule number four, study success. 
first 35, 40 years of my life, I was being held back by what I knew, what I thought was the truth. It wasn't the truth. These people and companies that are buying private jets, that are hooking up with whoever they want, when they want, that are spending millions and millions and millions of dollars on connections and speed and access. Dude, look, what are they doing, man? What are they doing? Okay? They're doing something different than you and I were taught to do. The school system don't teach you this. Your mama didn't teach you this. Your daddy didn't teach you this. Your family doesn't know this, right? So you got to go outside your circle of influence and look around. You know, 12, 14 million, 6 million, 4 million. those guys those are the pilots okay see they work for 150 grand a year and think they're they're, they're cutting a big fat hog in the ass oh I make 175,000 but they stop learning what the owner knows okay study man study pay the price for the information and then pay for the price of access to the people and learn from them rule number five worry about the money if I could go back to my 20 year old self what I would tell my 20 year old self is one thing, get your money right, son. Worry about the money. And now I know a lot of people think that this is not the thing people should be focused on. However, on this planet, if you don't get your money right, you're gonna be worried all the, all the time. You can't take care of your parents. You can't take care of yourself. You can't take care of your rent. You can't live in a nice place. You can't take care of your car. Get your money right, okay? What should you be spending your money on? Why do wealthy people use money, not spend money? Why do wealthy people buy businesses they don't buy homes why do wealthy people use debt to grow their business they don't use debt to consume products and services why do wealthy people not invest in 401ks and seps and retirement accounts they don't even worry about that they worry about getting their money so freaking right that they can go wherever they want day or night rule number six change your target is saying hey man if you got a million dollars you're basically just a freaking deadbeat and that your daddy didn't tell you that. If you didn't have any more income, and you were, how old are you? 27. You're 27 years old, I'm gonna do this at 47, I'm gonna do it at, uh, at, at, at 65. 27, you don't have any more income, how long would that money last? At $4,000 a month, you got 25 years. Where can you live on $4,000 a month? You'd have to live on $4,000 a month, for 25 years, you will be 52 years old, my friend, and dead broke. Number one thing you gotta do is this. You gotta change the target, and you need to look at the target daily. The target, you have the wrong target right now. If you're struggling, you have the wrong target. When you change the target, everything changes. Now, and, and I started with zero, just so you guys know. I didn't have anything. Okay, so look, it's simple. Target, what's your new target? Freedom. Yeah, freedom. But 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 let's put my, uh, a number on it. So your first target should be ten million dollars and nothing short of that. Number one, the target. Number two, you need to get your income to a place. This is a fascinating concept right here. Okay, if you can do this, I guarantee you'll be rich. You need to get your income not to what pays your bills, but to where you can save forty percent of your gross income is saved. All right, so now, now when you do this math, you're like, dude, how much money do I actually need? Let's kick this up to 20 grand. At 20 grand, what happens? You're saving eight, storage. You're paying eight, and now you can live on four. See, now this is the right way to do a budget. You make 30,000, 12's going to storage, 12's going to the IR and the S, and that leaves you with six. So now you can start seeing Dude, you gotta be somewhere north of 300 grand a year. This is what they don't teach you at Harvard. You gotta be somewhere north of 360 a year before you even have money to live on. Unless you're just, you know, you're a drek. You're just an irresponsible human being that, that's, you know, not putting, storing money away for the future, okay? Now you're saving 12 grand a month, that's $144,000 in one year. In 10 years, that's $1.4 million. In 10 years, you're a millionaire, 
stored. You guys need to be heavily money motivated from a survival standpoint. Okay, number three thing you're gonna do. You're gonna go broke right here and invest the storage. Storage has to get invested. The golden goose is only good if she lays eggs. Otherwise you can kill her. Eat her for a chicken. Need eggs, ba money needs to make babies, right? So your goal right here is to invest, to invest the storage money and continue to do that until this money over here, the passive money, is equal to your income. Right, so what would I do? I'd go out, I'm gonna make 30 grand, I'm gonna store 12, I'm gonna pay the IRS, I'm gonna live on six. Warren Buffett says don't lose money, number one. Number two, don't lose money. I would tell you, number three, don't lose money. And that's the reality of the situation. That's what Peter Thiel was saying. A single digit millionaire cannot even provide themselves with their own personal defense in America. Okay, Hulk Hogan, all that money Hulk Hogan made, he blew it all. He blew it all, probably buying hair pieces. <laughs> okay, he blew it all, he blew it all, ended up with a little money, thought he was the shit. oh man, I got a little money, until he had that freaking lawsuit, and then he can't even defend himself. So, it happens to a lot of people. How many, how many of you know a family member lost their job? Okay, how many of you have a family member where the kid got a drug addiction, he had to go to, to, to rehab for 30 days and it cost 40 grand? Dude, bad shit happens. How many of you know somebody got cancer? Okay, how many of you know somebody in a car accident cost three or 400 grand? Shit happens. Okay, the problem is not that shit happens, shit happens and people aren't ready for it. Oh God, I can't believe this happened to me. Oh shit, really? God damn, you've been around long enough. Right? How many of you can't swim? <laughs> you live on a planet with water. I'm just saying you might want to get a swimming lesson. It's a wet planet. Rule number seven, find your greatness. I love baseball, but 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 you don't have to love baseball to, to, be, to be inspired by greatness. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Oh my god. So beautiful. Look at this. Isn't that amazing? Wow. Greatness, man. That's greatness. That guy, that guy, you he, he you know, when you when I watch that, I'm like, I wonder how many times he's run, jumped, taken fly pitch. I mean, thousands and thousands and thousands of times to get to have that moment right there. So, by the way, that's that's in everybody here. Okay. So if you ever see a great ball play, uh, uh, whether it's football or hockey or ballet or dancing, and you're inspired, it's because it's it's hitting that part of you that's like you have that in you. Rule number eight: Change your thinking. Yeah, you got it. You got it. You got every everywhere you go. You need to you need to confront every time you hit up against. Oh, the, the room's two forty nine. The the meal's twenty five bucks. Uh, Starbucks is six dollars. The airline flight costs six hundred. Every time you like, oh, okay. You need to understand that you're being reminded you don't have enough money. It has nothing to do with the price. But but watch how much people disassociate. Oh, American Airlines is charging too much for that ticket. That has nothing to do with it. You don't you don't make enough money. Okay. So I had a guy. I was in Oakland, California. I was flying back, and I said, uh, "Hey, anybody want to fly home with me?" And the guy's like, "I want to fly home with you. I'll do it." I said, "Good. That'll be forty-eight thousand dollars for fuel." Oh, oh, I don't want to do it. No, you can't do it because you don't have the money. Fuel's not the problem. He didn't. He doesn't make enough money. So just start flipping things. So like now, when I see Wagyu, remember that Wagyu we ate in Vegas? It was like one hundred and fifteen dollars for a strip that big. Never do it again, by the way. But the fact that I complained about it only means I don't make enough money. And if the Wagyu is too much money, if the 115 for a little strip of Wagyu is too much money, what does that say about what I'm selling my products for? I'm not charging them up, can't get enough, I have this idea. So it's really, to me, it's really, we go to Paris, man, and we go to the Chanel store and there's people in line, in line, out the front door at the Chanel store. I'm like, oh my God. Great experience for me. 
how much money is on this planet. Go to Monaco, see the yachts. 200 million, 240, 300 million dollars. 300 millions, they cost 30 million a year to take care of them. Great experience. Flying private, been a great experience for me. Okay, guy has five jets. Not, 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 he's not complaining about a first class seat anymore. And the peanuts. He's got five jets. Different level, man. All of a sudden you start thinking different, start asking different, start working deals different. Rule number nine, do more. I was 50, 52 years old and I had a problem. I was depressed. I wasn't satisfied. I was hungry but didn't know what to do. I had businesses, I had money. I had a whole bunch of stuff, but I'm like, dude, what am I doing now? I'm bickering with Elena. We had our kids. We had the first two kids and we're like, okay, we got a kids. I'm being a parent now, okay? I'm being a married guy, right? I'm being a businessman and I'm unhappy. And then I started asking people, what's wrong, man? What's wrong, what's wrong with me, man? Something wrong with me? Something wrong with me? Oh yeah. And as soon as you say, is something wrong with me? Shit, everybody's got an opinion. <laughs> oh yeah, man. Man, you got a disease, man. You got a problem. You got issues, man. You work too much. You're a work addict. You, 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 you're insecure. Your daddy died. Your daddy died and left a hole in you. Left a hole in me, shit. I can't go on a vacation. I wanna do something, man. Doing less has never solved my problems. Doing less, moderation has never solved a problem for me. The problem that I've had in my life, okay, was not my marriage. It's not, okay, I'm not a bad parent. I wasn't helping enough people. You should be up here. You should be dropping out of the ceiling. You should be helping more people. And rule number 10, the last one before a very special bonus clip is have fun. Before we had that live chat, you were yeah. having second thoughts about the wake surfing. What changed your mind? I don't know. I mean, I always, I'm always up for an adventure, you know? It's just, People get grooved into their comfort zones. Yeah. You know, they, you can make them all, I'm busy, I'm this, I'm that, but, but the reality is, you know, people just get... So would you say this is out of your comfort zone? Any, if I'm not working a deal, I'm out of my comfort zone. Next, so arms out, knees, just like that, that's beautiful. Okay. We're gonna give you a nice slow pull up, just like I'm helping you up. Arms, chest up, arms hey, don't out. Don't pull myself up. Both doing the work, right here. Man, he's up. Now I've got a really special bonus clip from Grant on how to get out of the fear that I think you're gonna really enjoy. But before that, it's time for the three point landing questions. Time to move from just watching another video to actually taking action in your life or business. And if you're feeling bold, leave your answers in the comments below. Here we go. Question number one, what does a 10X life look like for you? Number two, what needs to change in your habits to get there? And number three, what do you need to eliminate from your life to get there? If you guys look around, man, it would appear to me that 99% of the people that you run into today are having some kind of financial problem. Oh, 76% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. I know people that don't live paycheck to paycheck that worry about money every second of every day. When my dad died, I didn't know anything about the 1%, but I knew I wanted to get in that club. I'm like, I have to get above whatever this middle class thing is because there's no safety here. It's constant fear. I've only wanted money for one reason, to be out of fear. So I could help out, so I could give to charity, so I could help my brother, so I didn't have to worry about how much the fuel costs or do I run an ad budget or not. Man, you guys gotta get out of the fear, man. That's the whole purpose, okay? The fear, by the way, is not a conspiracy. That shit is real. Everybody like, oh, fear ain't real. Yeah, well, uh-huh, it's easy for you to say you ain't got any this second, okay? Because it ain't scary to write a damn quote 
or to post something on Instagram. That shit ain't scary. What's scary is going to take a loan for $60 million. See if you ain't got a little bit of scare, okay? Say no to a customer. Hey, man, you're wrong. Okay, my, my daughter told me the other day, customers are always right, Papa. No, they're not. No, they're not. And most people don't even know how to tell a customer they're wrong. Okay, best customers I have, I told them, nope, that's not true. That's not right. You're wrong, and I'll show you why. So let me give you the one word secret to happiness. One word. This is all you need to be happy. The most important word ever. If you had to think of one word that's most important to you or that sums you up or that would be kind of like a little beacon, If you want more Grant Cardone, check out the top 50 rules video I made on him. The link is right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there. Dude, you don't get attention today, you have absolutely zero chance of being successful. Money follows attention.